everyone! So I have another collective haul to do today. Um, I went to one yard sale last Saturday, but there was only one. So um, until yard sale season kind of like just starts, you know, because it's only like one or two a week and kind of it's still being cold outside. And this week is, um, you know, the week of Good Friday and Easter Sunday, so I'm not going to have any to go to this week. But um, until yard sale season kind of like fully starts, I'm probably not going to really have much of a yard sale haul. So I'm just like putting them in with like a collective haul of things I've gotten recently. So that's what I'm going to do again um, this week. So I'm going to start with the yard sale stuff first just in case um, everyone just wants to watch for yard sale stuff only. And the only thing that I found while I was yard selling um, on Saturday was jewelry that's all I found well aside from a scarf actually I'll show that first um, I got this scarf it's just black with a, a pink and blue floral print and then there's also like glitter thread um, entwined throughout it so I thought that was really cute I kind of have a thing for scarves so I got that uh, that was 50 cents. It was in a box with other scarves that said 50 cents, but when I got it home, there was actually a price tag on it for 10 cents. So, um, I paid 50 cents though, but I thought, because I thought that's what it was, because the lady had asked, and I was like, well, the box said 50 cents, so that's what I paid for it. And then I got a couple of jewelry pieces. Um, let's see. I have everything all tangled up because I never prepare for my videos ever. I just kind of sit down, throw the camera on, and go from there. And this is this is what happens. So, ugh, this is so aggravating too. Okay, so the first thing I got was this necklace, and this was a dollar, and it's just a black, um, like, dangly type necklace, kind of dressy, and this is by Liz Claiborne. I only know that because there's a little, um, thingy right there that says LC on it, and I'm pretty sure that stands for Liz Claiborne. So I got that for a dollar. Um, I got this necklace for a dollar, and this is just a simple silver cross necklace. Just looks like that. I actually don't own any cross necklaces, and I always wanted just like a little simple one like this, so I got that for a dollar. And I got these bracelets, and they came together like this. They were attached like that. Um, I mean, you can wear them separately. It's the same bracelet, but um, I think I'd actually wear it doubled up like this anyway. And these are $2, so like a dollar a piece for them. And they're just like a braided kind of thing. They're kind of heavy. I mean, they have some heft to them, so they're nice. I don't know, you know, who they're made by or anything like that. And then the last bracelet I got, which was also a dollar, and this one's kind of like um, stretchy. And this one has a tag. It says it's by Cookie Lee. So I got that for a dollar. And then um, I went to two yard sales the week before. And um, I didn't go with my mom and dad. But they got there before me because I went with my boyfriend. And I love going yard sailing with my boyfriend. He doesn't really like going yard sailing. But um, I like going with him. But... He made me late to the yard sale, so I got there late, which I was kind of upset about because I like getting there early. So my mom found some things, and I didn't even get a chance to talk to her or anything like that because I didn't really see her. But she said that she had got me a couple of things. So um, she got me this bottle of Milani nail polish, and this is in tiptoe pink. And I'm pretty sure she got this off of a table. Um, because I had seen it, but I didn't buy it, and I'm pretty sure she paid a quarter for it, so she got me that, and she also got me this set of Hershey's lip balms, there's eight in here, for two dollars, this is brand new, 
I used to have a couple of these like novelty type lip balms when I was, um, you know, a little younger, but um, I don't really remember how they were. I mean, I don't think they were really anything too amazing. They were just kind of like a novelty type thing, but um, um, the kid in me wants to tear this open and like sniff all the lip balms, so I'm probably going to do that later. <laughs> Um, she also got me this candle. It's a Hershey Syrup Chocolate Flavor Hand Poured Candle. It looks like it's in a Hershey's Chocolate Syrup Tin. And she paid 50 cents for this. And it looks like that inside. It was never burned. Um, I do smell like a chocolate smell with this. But I also smell something else which isn't too pleasant. So I don't know how it would smell being burned, but I don't think I'm going to burn it. I think I'm going to um, probably just sell it because um, I'm not really interested in, in... I'm not a huge candle person. And I'll get to that later on in the video because I have something else to show that's semi-related. And so the last thing that she got me, and she was telling me, she said, I found something for you for your wedding. And I was like, okay. Um... I don't have any plans yet. I mean, I'm engaged and all that, but, you know, I haven't made plans. I don't know what I'm doing or anything like that, you know? Like, it'll just... To me, I'm kind of, like, so laid back about everything that it's, like, it'll happen sometime. Whatever. So, like, I'm not a typical girl when it comes to, like, marriage and stuff like that. Like, I'm not, like, one of those people who have been planning since they were a little girl. Like, I'm just kind of, like, eh, whatever. So... Anyway, she said that she found this um, cake serving set that was originally from Things Remembered. And when I was looking around at stuff, because I was like pinning things on my Pinterest, like, I don't know, last year. And I was like, there is a cake serving set at Things Remembered that I want. Like, it's the one that I want for when I do get married. And it was $95. And I was like, it's called like, the, it was called Park, the Park Place or Park Avenue. I don't know, something like that. Um, cake serving set. And I was trying to explain it to her, and she's like, that's the one, that's the one. And I was like, nah, whatever. Like, I mean, I didn't really believe her. I figured, you know, there's no way in hell, like, that's the one that I wanted. It was the one that I wanted. She paid $10 for it. It's originally $95. So now I only have to buy, like, the matching champagne flutes, and then I'll have my set. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a black velvet case, and then they're just kind of in here. There was also, like, a piece of, um, foam that was over top of them. But they just look like this. It comes with a knife and a cake server. And these are really heavy, and I just absolutely love the handles. I think they are so pretty. So I got these. Um, my mom said the lady that was selling them said that she had a beautiful wedding, but her marriage was horrible. So I'm assuming that she's not with the man anymore. And I'm very thankful that they didn't have them engraved or anything like that because then I wouldn't have used them. So she paid ten dollars for those. So I'm so excited for that. Um, that's ninety five dollars I don't have to spend on a cake serving set. So definitely very good deal find there. So the last thing my mom um, got me, and this wasn't at a yard sale, she got a thing in the mail for free mascara at Sephora, and I didn't understand because I'm part of, like, the Sephora's beauty insider type thing, and I didn't get anything in the mail for a free mascara, and my mom isn't, you know, a part of their beauty insider, and she did get a free a thing for a free mascara, so she gave it to me. She went and picked it up. It's just a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. It just looks like this. It's one of the uh, travel size types. So she gave it to me, which was nice. So I got that. And I think it had a sample in there as well. No, it was a men's cologne sample, and my dad kept that. Um, but yeah, she gave me that. And then we went shopping together, um, just a couple of places. So we went to the Dollar Tree first, and she had to pee, so I kind of like rushed around to look at things. But I did get three things. I got a Yardley Lavender Garden Body Wash, which just looks like this. I've seen the Yardley soaps at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen um, body washes. They had this kind, and they also had an almond kind of scent. 
and I just love lavender smells. I think they're so calming. So I got that. It's a pretty decent size. It's 7 fluid ounces. So I got that. I got a bar of soft soap. It's juicy pomegranate and mango. And this stuff smells so good. I can smell it right through the box. So anytime I see like na more name brand type things at the Dollar Tree, I pick it up because um, the likelihood of it being there when you go back is very rare. So I got that. And then the last thing that I got, which I was super excited to find was a soft lip slip balm and this is the only flavor they had it's in wild berry which i've never had before and these weren't with like the rest of the beauty related stuff they were at the end of an aisle and they were kind of like on one of the hook things at the end of an aisle so if you go to your dollar tree um check the end of the aisles just in case because that's where i found this so those are the only three things i got at the dollar tree and then we also went to Walmart, and I had a coupon for, if you bought a box of Biore Pore Strips, you got a free face cleanser. So I've been wanting to get some pore strips. I used these when I was younger, and I remember that they hurt really bad, but I kind of thought maybe my skin toughened up a little over the years, and maybe like they're not as rough on your skin. So I used one yesterday, and oh my god, I don't know if it's just me, but I was practically in tears pulling that thing off. They hurt so fucking bad taking them off. It, oh, how, why? I don't understand. You guys, you guys had to let me know if poor strips hurt you when you take them off as much as they hurt me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, but... I think that it is one of the most painful things ever, but they work. They hurt like hell, but they do work. Like, if you look at the pore strip afterwards, it's nasty. It is incredibly nasty what comes out of your pores. So, definitely works, but hurts like hell. And so then, my free cleanser, and this was the only cleanser they had, so I kind of was forced to buy it, and this is the Warming Anti-Blackhead Cleanser. And I don't have blackheads. But um, it was the only cleanser that they had that I could choose from for free. So I used it the other day and it does actually like warm on your face. It's weird. I've never had anything like that before. So I don't know. I'm going to use it just because I got it for free and whatever. So at Walmart I also bought um, a pair, or, well I shouldn't say a pair, a pack of uh, no boundary socks and there's six pairs in here they're just neon stripes and I love Walmart socks I know I rave about them all the time they're like four dollars and some change for six pa pairs of socks and these are in the kids section um, I have I wear a size six six and a half shoe I kind of have small feet so if you have small feet definitely raid the children's section for your socks because these will fit um, it says a kid's shoe size 4 to 10, so um, they fit me perfectly, and like I said, I wear a size 6, 6.5, so definitely raid the children's section for your socks at Walmart um, if you have smaller feet. Okay, and speaking of feet, I got a pair of pajamas, and these are the, um, these are the, um, Footed pajamas, like, you know, I used to have a pair of these when I was a little girl. They were gummy bears, actually. I don't know if anyone remembers the gummy bears, uh, the television show that was on the Disney Channel. But, um, these have an owl print, and the first time I seen these, I was with my boyfriend, and I was, like, flipping out about them. I was like, oh my god, I need these, and he just was kind of like, eh, you know, because, I mean, he's my boyfriend, and he doesn't want to see me in this kind of stuff. He wants to see me in, like, sexy lingerie. But... I had to have these, and I love them. Um, they were originally, where's my tag? These were originally $16.47, but when I was there, they were on clearance for $7. So I got these for $7. And like I said, they're owl print, and they have the uh, feet on the bottom. So these are super soft, comfortable, and I absolutely love them, and I would totally buy another pair. So... I got those, and then the last thing I got at Walmart, and it was like the main reason that I wanted to go, was they had an owl tart warmer that you plug into your electric socket that's kind of like the size of like what a Glade 
plug in would be and I really wanted one for down in my foyer because I have a Glade one now and they're just Glade ones are just you know kind of boring ugly basic so I really wanted this owl one to put there and they didn't have any at the Walmart I went to but they have them at the other Walmart owl here and the small one looks exactly like him except um, this one's kind of like a mini one but they also have one that's bigger than him probably about like yay tall so I got him to plug in um, I'm going to use him in this room here, or either my computer room, I'm not sure. And then I also got a pack of Sensationals Wax Cubes, and these are the cupcake ones. Um, I smelled these at another Walmart, and I didn't really like it. I didn't think it was a very cupcakey scented smell. But then I smelled another pack at a different Walmart, and these smell absolutely amazing. These smell like um, buttercream frosting. They're very, very nicely smelled nicely scented. I um, own like two other Sensationals wax cube tarts and the throw on them is amazing. I um, have a tart warmer down in my kitchen. It completely fills my entire downstairs plus I can smell it when I come upstairs. So I definitely recommend these wax tarts. So I got those and then yesterday my boyfriend and I went to the outlets so I got a couple of things. I went to Old Navy, and I have never bought anything at Old Navy before. So I ended up buying a pair of jeans, and these are just the Rockstar um, jeans. They're just a skinny leg jean. Um, my bill was like only like thirty some dollars, and I don't know if it's just because it was the outlets or if their prices are really always that cheap. But the um, the price on the jeans was $34.50 and my bill was like $30 and I got three shirts too. So it's like I got the shirts for free. But anyway, I wanted some bright neon colored shirts for summer so I ended up getting three of them. I got, these are just called like the vintage um, tee. I got a hot pink one and I got a neon orange one and a neon yellow one. So I got those. And then we also went to Wilson's Leather, and I absolutely love that store. They have lots of nice things in there. So I ended up getting a coat because I wanted a new spring coat, and this one was really, really cute. It's just black, kind of like a trench coat. It, um, it goes to about above my knees, and this is by Guess. It has a very awesome lining in it, and it's made of a material that, you know, can withstand lots of rain since spring is coming and then it also has some leather detailing here and also um, around the belt so this was um, like fifty some dollars the price tag on it says it was originally two hundred and fifty on clearance for a hundred ninety nine um, but I got it even on more clearance than that I, I only paid like fifty something I don't know exactly precisely what it was but it was definitely 50 something. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I never owned anything by Guess other than a purse that I got at a yard sale. So, um, anyway, I got that. And the last thing that I have to show is I finally got my Valentine gift in the mail. Um, I ordered it from Sneak Peek, and I know I've talked about Sneak Peek before um, in various other videos when I get like their mystery boxes. And when I get those, they come pretty quickly because they're shipped from Sneak Peek. And they sell diamond candles on there, but I'm pretty sure that they don't ship the diamond candles from their warehouse in particular. Like, I think they order it from diamond candles and then have it shipped to their warehouse and then have it shipped to um, whoever orders them. And it takes forever. This took a month and like three days to get to me, which is kind of ridiculous for a business. Um, I know other people complain about sneak peek because of that. Like their shipping time is horrendous. But if you order diamond candles from sneak peek, they're cheaper than if you would order them from the diamond candles website. So that's the only reason I did. I ordered one of these for my mom for Christmas last year and she absolutely loved it and I was like wow I want one of those too so I was like I'll order it for like Valentine's Day or something so that's what I did and I got the cupcake one I bought my mom one hers was brown sugar pudding and basically if you don't know what diamond candles is 
There is a ring inside each candle, and this little gold disc shows you where the ring is. Um, the ring can be worth anywhere from at least $10 to $5,000, but the chance of you getting a $5,000 ring, I'm sure, is very slim. But um, I particularly didn't really care for the scent. I think that the Sensational Wax Cube smell 100 times better than this candle. Um, I'm just being honest. And I also think it burned kind of smoky. I don't know. But the throw was okay. It didn't, you know, sm like make the upstairs of my house smell or anything like that like my Sensationals cubes do. But um, you kind of, kind of buy it for like the novelty of it, of it being a ring inside of it. So anyway, I'll show you the ring. The ring I got looks like this. It's just a blue ring. It's got a blue stone in it and then like two stones on either side. And I'm sure this is just a $10 ring. It seems kind of chinzy. But um, it fits on my thumb and it's even loose on my thumb. And I don't like wearing rings on my thumb. This is kind of a big ring. I don't know exactly what size it is. I kind of have small fingers. I wear a size 4 um, on my ring finger. So I don't know if they're all the same size or anything like that, but I think it's awfully huge for, you know, everyday or everyday fingers. So I think it's kind of big. But anyway, I'm going to give it to my mom, see if she wants it, because it's really not, I don't really like it. Um, and I didn't think the candle was that great either, so I wouldn't repurchase a diamond candle. However, I would repurchase it for my mom because my mom did really like hers. So, um, anyway, that is my haul, and I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to my Instagram. I finally set up an Instagram account, so um, I've been kind of like taking pictures and stuff um, for that. So, if you're interested, I will leave a link to my Instagram. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video.